You never know what's going to happen with Netflix. Just like I didn't know Triple Frontier <laughs> was something I needed. I, I knew I needed one frontier, maybe even a double frontier, but a triple frontier. God damn. Uh, JC Chander uh, putting out this action thriller war survival movie. I guess is how you want to describe it with a crazy cast. Oscar Isaac leads it. Ben Affleck, Charlie Hunnam, Pedro Pascal and Garrett Hedlund rounds out the, yep. the five who uh, they're going to. Do we know what country it is? Colombia going Columbia? somewhere in South America. I don't know yeah. if it's explicitly said, which that might be a problem for some people. <laughs> that would uh, getting thrown in there, but yeah, somewhere, somewhere, somewhere down south, South America. Yeah, don't don't really know. Andy's mountains are involved, so that can narrow it down, <laughs> I guess. And uh, they're they're trying to to basically steal money. They're going to kill this the struggle lord and take his money, and they're going to keep it all for themselves. At least that's that's the switch up. And mm-hmm. you know, they're all ex military, all ex. I think special ops was really it. Oh, and. Uh, yeah, it's they're the last of a dying breed. <laughs> it's, it's La- a last of the war. Yeah, <laughs> freaking so so cliched and macho. Um, was this a good movie, Dave? Um, yeah, I think it is. I think for the type of movie you're uh, going to the watch, you know, action heist thriller. You're, you're qualifying it. Well, I am, <laughs> but I think uh, it surprised me with the. Uh, the fact that the heist happens in like the first third of the film and that Mm -hmm. the survival aspect I think was quite unexpected. Um, And I think, you know, I think the narrative, I think that the the plot can kind of weave in and out for people. I think your temperature may vary on that. I think there were some things that were like a little, a little confusing in terms of like just the geography, for example, like why is crossing this mountain so important? How did you guys get here again? Why do we have to go on this side of the, continent i don't understand all of that uh, just from the cursory watch but again i think overall you know seeing all these actors that most people like be together and uh you know just 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 play play military men i don't know i, I was amused the whole time now what did you think i was pretty lukewarm on it i mean it's it's enjoyable and, and i i would say it's fine um i i didn't find all the performances to be all that great i mean i Oscar Isaac, I thought was pretty good. Um, you know, his role, he has probably the most, I don't know about the most to work. I guess maybe the most to work with yeah. just because he has the most lines. He but it. Yeah. I mean, I also think uh, it's like seeing him like silently just like recognize like how much this has gone to shit was like pretty funny and entertaining. Not, not that this is a funny movie, but it was just like funny watching his face be like, oh shit like Mm -hmm. how did we get to this point um i thought ben affleck was kind of just like whatever just it it was just funny seeing him like flip that switch uh you know he gets he's like that um he's like that that person that just doesn't know the limits and like he's like ah no i i know i should stay away from this then like gets one taste and he's like give me all of it like i need all the money time yeah cushion (laughs) you've never missed an out in your life oh give us a 15 minute cushion hard out (laughs) um he it was fine um charlie hunnam i mean nothing kind of role really i guess he's supposed to be the moral compass of it I don't know. Pedro Pascal, like, eh, really? I don't know. I, I like Pedro Pascal because I thought his guy uh, was a catfish, fish, the pilot. <laughs> he was more of a, um, yeah, he really comes across as like, one of the most competent people in the crew and the most level headed. <laughs> and the fact that he was more reserved, I think, was a cool touch because that's, obviously, most people know him most famously for playing Oberyn on Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. very flamboyant, uh, showy role. So that's just a little different from what you expect, I guess, more aligned with his uh, character on Narcos. But uh, mm. yeah, Hunnam disappointed me just because like, I think I think the script didn't do many favors, but also he just kind of wavered in terms of his performance. Something he's off to do sometimes where his accent comes in and out or his inflections. <laughs> and like, it's fine. Like, it's good enough. But again, I, I thought Hedlund was better. I thought in general, the stunt casting of them as brothers was like really smart and mm-hmm. surprised we haven't seen yet. I like that. Yeah. But Hedlund, um, again, like kind of on this like, bit of a heater around since Mudbound came out, you know, and uh, yeah, just doing, just doing all the, the these movies where he just kind of gets to be like a weird character actor, you know? Yeah. 
Um, Affleck, Affleck is interesting because when he died, uh, and he's the first one to die, the only one to die um, mm-hmm. in the crew, and didn't see that coming at first, but then I'm thinking back, I'm like, oh, wait, why would he do this darker, uh, dour performance coming off Bruce Wayne in like Gone Girl? Oh, that's why, because he gets to take take the uh, take the death, take the L. Take the headshot. You know? Um, I think like, the but politics it- of like the, uh, <laughs> the murder of innocent farmers and whatnot uh i definitely uh your mileage may vary on that to be blunt um also watching a mule fall off a cliff uh it's tough tough hang but then seeing all the money float was kind of cool so i don't know i think there's cool set pieces uh (laughs) i think the action though i was maybe a little underwhelming the action i thought i guess i was expecting more more right to be honest uh the fact that we have uh the heist happened so early as i said and then it goes into more survival the survival stuff was cool but probably not what everyone thought we were getting I mean, uh, so Catherine Bigelow is a uh, executive producer on this and it, it almost was like two zero dark 30 ish where like it was like surgical. These guys running in Escape and on. they're just like poof, 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 like one shot. It's like I want my action films. I want bullets like cutting up the walls. I want to see like some crazy things. And really, they were just like super competent soldiers who knew exactly what they were doing and um even when Affleck got shot in the head it was just because they were like having this conversation and like trying to like then they they in this gunfight and Affleck thinks he takes someone down and the like one person wasn't able to get in position in time I guess like Mm -hmm. I don't know just they they were almost like too competent for this to be like super fun I think And, and that's that's the thing about the movies I for an action movie or war movie it wasn't very fun which is fine because, but I don't know if it had enough to say that justified it being as serious as it was. Yeah, I think I th- that's go ahead. Yeah, I think that's spot on because like I was actually like stressed as hell watching it. Like I thought it was definitely yeah. engaging on like the thriller angle, but you're right, it didn't really have enough to say and thus tonally was just a little off at times because it didn't commit to being a Sicario, you know? Mm-hmm. Like like topics of morality are littered through that. And like a lot right. of people didn't like Sicario do, but again, it still tried. But this mm-hmm. one, it, it, again, it, it, there's not there's not enough humor, or I guess the wisecrafting comes in in and out that it uh it just kind of comes off as a bit of a dark time, dark hang, you know. Right. And I still liked it because I still thought it was pretty engaging. But yeah, I think that we could have tweaked that somehow. I think it, you could actually really level it up because even though what we got, I mean, they don't make action movies of this caliber, this this scale, um, that aren't part of. James Bond, Mission Impossible, or Fast and Furious. We just don't right. get kind of movies. So the fact that they were able to make something that clearly looks like it costs some money, you know, they're, they're, they're crashing a helicopter in this, you know, and mm. like, and, and, and on location, it, lo- it looks great. I think there's some really cool shots of the vistas and landscapes and whatnot, but, you know, at least Netflix, uh, you know, I think they should get credit for just having the kudos to pick this up or at least give it some kind of financing because, again, we're not going to see stuff like this that often. Yeah, uh, I'm glad this movie got made. And, you know, thinking about what it was trying to be, I think it was trying to be a little bit Expendables, a little bit Zero Dark Thirty, and a little bit American Sniper, you know, in terms of like what it was trying to say and what the point of it was. And I don't think it really hit on any of those. And, um, oh, ob- and obviously, uh, God, I'm forgetting it. L- Lone Survivor is like the, the easy survival uh, war film comp for it. Um, I, I mean, I think it, it's a good movie. Yeah, I'm excited that Netflix is able to make something like this. And uh, I, I just want to see them keep putting out these sort of movies because even if this one isn't a total hit, it's a movie that if I had like two hours to kill, which never really happens, but if I did, I wouldn't mind throwing it on and just being like, okay, here we go. Like, let's just enjoy Ben Affleck and Oscar Isaac like being crazy for a couple hours. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> 72% Rotten Tomatoes. I was surprised it was that high. Yeah, it's a good point. Um, I would love to see this in the theater, but again, that's just not realistic yeah. anymore. Yeah, it was out for one week before it's on Netflix, so uh, it wasn't what well, I wasn't gonna make it there. 